Hi guys, Greg here, Sightench, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how the Leica interface is looking. It's a great equipment that's going to be our first impression of it. We're going to go through the apps and I'm going to show you how the icon is looking. So let's go. I'm going to have a look today uh, what the applications are available on icon and then uh, we're going to just quickly flick through them and uh, later we're going to be going more into the detail. But uh, that's how the Leica simulator actually looks, but that's what you're going to have on your tablet. And uh, we have actually more apps on site uh, and uh, I'm going to show you this anyway as you get a verification really nice app. As you can see I opened one job here but uh, let's maybe open another one. Uh, what I want to do I just jump here really on the job and we can open here a new one. So I just press that uh, green plus here and uh, we can open we're going to put the name here. So I'm just going to maybe open uh, learn setting out.com that's gonna be our new job so ticket uh, no need description really but you can add whatever you like and uh, then I'm gonna tick again and my job gonna be open so uh, this is here where I'm gonna be choosing between the jobs so as you can see now here I'm uh, on the job so uh, whatever I'm gonna be doing my stakeout layout points uh, as build surveys uh, I'm already on the job so if I'm going to change it obviously I'm going to press again here and then I can choose between a previous job or uh, open a new one again so I'm going to go back to the learnsettingout.com and uh, what I'm going to do now I'm just going to jump into resection app maybe before that just have a quick look as uh, the apps are called a little bit different to what we have before on uh, instruments like TS15, TS16 and as I said uh, in the last video, uh, this is made for construction. So they actually made some uh, changes in naming as well and uh, to make it easy really, but uh, you'll see yourself. So uh, what applications we have? So that's measure. We got a stakeout here. Uh, we got the layout points. So this is very similar really. We got the layout lines. We got the checks, which I want to check myself. Uh, we got the sketching. This is nothing really important. We got the slopes, we got volumes, really good app as well. We got the cut and fill, uh, MC calibration, coordinate system, setup and the calculator. And as I said, verification, probably there are few more as well. And I think the traverse is coming maybe with the latest one. But uh, as you can see, there is no really traverse on this one. As I said, this is made for construction and uh, traverse is really more for land surveyors, maybe. But uh, what I'm going to go now quickly, I'm just going to go to setup and I'm going to show you a few things uh, what we're going to finder so uh, set up here uh, you can see you can set up anywhere over no point so as I said it's not resection it's, it's called anywhere now on over known point that's I think the same uh, you can set control line anywhere but this is like same like you do actually the ref line you can do the line as well on the other models and uh, we got heights but uh, I'm going to jump quickly to anywhere that's going to what we're going to be really going through 95% uh, I would say so that's the compensator. If you move it like that, we don't really want to carry on, but uh, I'm going to press that yellow dot here and that's going to get me to the station name and information about the station. So uh, maybe I just put uh, station one and tick that uh, green mark there and uh, yellow again. And that's going to bring us to the resection. No data loaded. Obviously I got no data in that job I just created, but uh, as you can see, I got projects here. I got import and delete. I got the jobs as well here and I got map view manager so I can actually jump in between the jobs now or I can import the data as well but that we're going to be doing later. So when I'm going to press here on that station that's the setup here so I got information project default I created the data script and the job uh, as we just opened at learnsetingout.com and that's going to be the one when I'm going to press here on that station I'm going to get the uh, information here uh, you can see here at the ICR one second R400 a uh, really good instrument by the way and here in this many as you can see we can uh, we can turn on the laser we got the guide light as well we can go back to the level and compensator which is okay and then uh, drizzle me so that's going to be the tablet mode uh, we can switch this as well on the tablet i'm going to show you once i'm going to grab the tablet and uh, we got the measure modes as well so that's typically you can see single manual single auto continuous with lock so uh, that's going to be the many here to do the measure changes and uh, when you can see the prisms we can change the prisms here as well and the target so we got prism type we got the uh, prism height turn to point battery memory so that's we're going to be getting information 
as well. So you can see the remaining ICR is 90%, but my controller, my, my actually simulator is zero remaining. So I'm gonna go back here, but that's where we're gonna be looking for this information. We got a move and search, obviously when we're gonna be using uh, the prism, uh, we got the search settings. So you can jump there into detail uh, how you want your instrument to look for your targets. Uh, we got the target snap, tune out target. But that's what I wanted to show you here. And uh, I just gonna go back now and close this. I'm gonna cancel that resection and just quickly go back to that main menu we had before. So I'm gonna go back to home. You can see here in the main menu as well, you got import and delete, so that we're gonna be importing data, obviously plus here. And uh, now depending on what we're gonna be, if we're gonna be using USB or uh, whatever really, we're gonna be bringing the data here. And uh, I maybe do that quick short video to import some data to show you how to do it. And then uh, we got export. So obviously whatever as builds we're gonna do, we're gonna export in here. And the reports, I actually was using reports for the verifications here. So uh, it's, it's a really good reports that EDM gonna bring you when you're gonna do the verification stake list management. Uh, I'm, I, I wasn't really working with this much. But uh, I think guys, that will be all into this video really. Just, I, I want you to have a look at that first impression, open the first job, uh, see how the naming a little bit changed in this one and where you're gonna be looking for the prisms, when you're gonna be looking for the information about the EDM as well, about the batteries, and uh, if you got any questions, obviously just let me know. 